Dash cams can prove very useful, especially in situations of which you need them to prove your innocence. Like for example, if a crackhead happens to jump out in front of your car to try to get a pay Oh, shut up. Like for example, if a crackhead jumps out in front of your car to try to get a payday from your insurance company, a dash cam can save you a headache. This is the AZ Dome 4K Ultra HD car dash cam. Has a 2.4 inch screen, has Wi-Fi and GPS built in. On the front, you get a 170 degree lens with WDR night vision. It also has a G sensor that will auto lock video files just in case you happen to get into an accident. It will make sure that those files are not deleted along with having a parking monitor, motion detection, and a desktop application. So before I jump into some examples of the quality, I wanna go into a little bit more detail on some of the features. First of all, it does have a desktop application that allows you to watch video while it tracks where you're driving, so that's cool. But it also has a Lucky Cam app that you can load on your phone and you can remotely access access the dash cam. This allows you to record video, take pictures, change settings, etc. That's actually kind of unique and one of the reasons why I wanted to test it out to see, you know, exactly how well that app worked. And it it does. It works fairly decent. But built in, it also does have GPS. So working with that desktop app, it allows your GPS to know exactly where you were at the time of recording that video. And I really do like the G sensor thing because if you set it to constantly record, you could easily overwrite a, a significant event, something that you don't want deleted. And that G sensor will lock that file to make sure it does not get deleted. So with those features out of the way, let's jump into the quality. And I can say that it it's 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 decent. And by decent, I mean here is me driving during the day on the highway. As you can see, the video is fairly clear and overall it's usable footage, especially if you were to get into an accident, you would clearly be able to see what happened, why it happened as long as it was in front of you and hopefully it could help you in the courts or explaining to the police officer, you know, it was not your fault, unless it was your fault and then, then hide your dash cam. <laughs> But when I get into the night driving, although the video is decent and usable, I, I notice a lot of grain, just stuff that kind of throws off the finer details. And this is kind of to be expected. I mean, after all, it is a small sensor built into a dash cam, so you can't really expect it to, you know, give you movie quality video files. But still, it's something I want to point out that you kind of have to be at the right angle in order to, you know, catch a license plate. So this will give you a pretty decent idea of what it's like to drive at night. Uh, I haven't come up on anybody with a license plate yet to see if I can... Well, actually, looks like they just got the red light. But anyways, this is nighttime driving. Let's see if I can see this guy's license plate from this distance. I'm all pretty close to him, so I would hope that I'd be able to, but no guarantee at night. And this will even give me an idea of what the microphone sounds like that's built into the dash cam. Like for example, when I get behind a vehicle, just the reflection off my headlights makes it impossible to read the license plate. And even when I'm off to the side, I kind of sort of have to hit it at the right angle and be close enough to be able to make out the license plate. So I really am gonna stick with this camera quality rating of decent. And that's what brings me to my next point. 4K Ultra HD, this is what they claim. It's in their title, their Amazon page, 4K, Ultra HD. Okay, well, first of all, on paper, let's look at the specs. By their own specs, they claim that the camera is 2880 by 2160, which by itself is not true 4K. True 4K, of course, being 3840 by 2160. So already you see a discrepancy between real true Ultra HD 4K and what they're claiming is 4K. Maybe it's just because they say 2160. But I actually decided to look in this a little bit further because when I was looking at some of the demonstration videos that I were going to use for this video itself, I just noticed that, I mean, it is decent, as I said, but it's just not as clear as you would expect from a 4K sensor. I mean, yes, it is a dash cam. I, I, I get that it has inherited you know, limitations by what sensor can fit inside of a dash cam, but still, 
it just didn't feel right. So I look a little bit deeper onto the website and the specs, and I notice it's running the Novatech NT9660 processor with the OmniVision OV4689 sensor. And if you go online and you look at the processor specs, first of all, it's really not capable of handling decent frame rates at true 4K. So that's already kind of a limitation, although that's not the, the deal breaker here. The deal breaker is the OmniVision sensor. If you go and look at the specs on that sensor, it can technically only handle up to 2688 by 1520 at 90 frames per second. This is a limitation of the sensor itself. And yes, on a production side, I'm pretty sure that you can utilize more of the sensor than what's rated from the factory, but still, from what I can tell, this video is basically just stretched and upscaled to meet the 2880 by 2160 that they claim on paper which is why it looks a little bit off because it's not really true 4K in the first place and it's stretched and scaled to meet what they're claiming it can do anyways. And I'm not necessarily using this as a reason as to not buy this dash cam. I'm just saying you need to know what you're getting into. I mean, it's not really true 4K and even the fake 4K that they claim it is is an upscaled version of a lower resolution. So as long as you know what you're getting into, then it's okay. In fact, if you have my recommendation, I'd probably say lower it down to a 1080p version, run it at 60 frames per second. That way you have more frames to work with if you are trying to capture a license plate and you won't be you know, finagling the sensor to get this upscaled resolution. But aside from all that, I mean, the camera is pretty easy to use. The menus are simple enough to navigate through. It has plenty of options to dig through. I mean, overall, it's a decent dash cam for what it is, especially for it only being $90. And even more especially, which is totally a phrase, uh, the same body design you can find with different logos on actually cost more sometimes. Either way, guys, check out the links down below if you want to see more details, technical specifications, etc. on this dash cam. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them down below. Thank you for watching and have yourself a good day.